Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I invite Torsten. Hi, Torsten. Hello, uh, To talk about multilayer su power suppressor bits because we have often an application, a kind of um, inrush current, because we have an input capacitor, and this input capacitor is empty, and if we have a power source which can deliver a lot of current, it may happen that the multilayer suppressor bit will broke. And we did develop two kind of uh, series, one for standard industrial and one for automotive application. And I can read in Red Expert and also in the data sheet that this kind of uh, power suppressor bits can withstand 100,000 pulses. How did you know that? Yes, Lauren, for this we have a test setup. You can see it here. It consists of a power source which is a really fast one, which you can create pulses up to 8 milliseconds and 100 amp. A switching unit where you can put in 10 DOTs to get uh, the pulse to the DOT. Yeah, but Torsten, how you can know that during the test the component is not broken and still alive? Yeah, first of all, you can do an optical inspection for this. And by the way, we are also monitoring the RDC of this part all the time. So you can see when it's an open or before it's an open. Okay. We have some graphs in the data sheet and uh, we show this pulse length and the maximum current. Um, how do you measure this? For this we do the first test is that we set a constant pulse length of for example 0 0.5 milliseconds and increase the 5 seconds break time and then we increase the current for example from 102 amp up to 100 amp and this for different pulse lengths and so we get a result uh, you can see here in the data sheet with some tolerances so let's make some tests okay we put the solder part into the box And let's start the software. Now you can hear the clicking sound. That's when the pulse is going through every part in the channel. Thorsten, I'm curious how it looks when we use a standard ferrite beads. I can show you. Let's test it. Let's test it. Change it. Standard SMD ferrite. And then I will start the software. So, in best case, you saw now that uh, standard ferrite bits would not work. And if the power suppressor bit is still not good enough, last chance is to use a wired component or just to move the capacitor on front of the multilayer. So thank you so much, Thorsten. I hope you have some new information, some nice idea. Please watch my next videos.